everyone for dating games. Oh, yeah. ah. So how dating games work is it's a it's like a dating game. So we're gonna have one bachelor or bachelorette, and we're gonna have three mysterious people sitting behind the curtain. And the bachelor slash bachelorette will not know what those three people are, because they're all someone or something special, and their goal is to try to guess what they are. So Ryan's our bachelor for tonight, so Ryan has to leave. Leave! I love you, honey. <laughs> Alright, and after that door closes, our three eligible people are going to get a suggestion for what, how, whatever they are. Alright, um, what am I? T-Rex. I'm a T-Rex. That's good. Uh, give me a cartoon character. Hey, or Mickey Mouse. Uh, <laughs> uh, you said it, so I have to. <laughs> give me um, a person who has made an impact in your life that I would know. Bill oh, wow. <laughs> Someone I would know, Marshall. Uh, <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh, guy here. Anything 
before you? Uh -huh. I'm sort of an independent woman. Of course, of course. It's um, 2022. I can get that. I really started from, oh, I was probably like 13 on Disney Channel, and I've really just grown from there, and I don't want some <laughs> stingy man tearing me down. Like, I don't know. And I'm... What? And I'm really just on here just for publicity. I I hate to say it. I I already have a boyfriend. I, I, I have a quick question. I, I, I have a quick I, 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 You said she was single for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what they told me. Did, did they sign like a contract or like? No, it was verbal. Fair enough. All right. That's number two. Yes. Can you tell me what are you, what what kind of hobbies are you engaged in? Do you like to create anything? Like, are you an artist or something? Oh, I wouldn't say I'm an artist per se. I do like to build things. I'm a little bit of a inventor myself. Um, I I like to do things. You know, like help me around the house and uh, you know also do some email. <laughs> pretty well rounded. <laughs> And can I ask, uh, you say you like to perform evil. Is it just like general evil or is it more chaos? Oh, no, no, chaos is like chaotic. I could never do that. Right, right, no, okay. It'd be more like a like more orderly evil. Right, okay. Yeah, so. Take over some sort of geopolitical landscape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, 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 maybe. Maybe use some giant corporation that you happen to be the head of in order to do so? Is that, is that within your wheelhouse? Yeah, yeah, it's like a, more like an incorporated sort of type thing. <laughs> Interesting. Have our own jingle, too. Really? Oh, that's, I bet that's rather catchy. Do you, you have someone else write it? I, I'm sorry, I'm focusing too much on one contestant. I'm oh, favorites. I'm so not. sorry. Uh, contestant number one. You seem preoccupied. Um. Can I ask, is Stegosaurus the name of your ex? Like, what's going on there, man? I'm sorry, is that, no? No, okay. Uh, and, and they answer, it's up to them. Okay, no, I, if you don't want to answer that, that's fine. You didn't have to bring it up. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> it's just, it's so hard being such an apex predator, you yeah. know? Being absolutely Killing scared. smaller things, like Stegosaurus. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, it was a hard time. We fell in love with the, in the production of, of Jurassic Park. We fell in love, and <laughs> after that, it just, it fell apart. If I may say, it's all right, Mr. T-Rex. It's going to be okay. We'll get you to the right It's okay. It's not easy being extinct, and I, I, I can relate to that on the spiritual level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, contestant number three, back to you. Yeah. Um, so... How musically talented would you say you are? I, I'm quite a fan of music myself. It's very important in my day-to-day -day life. I'd like to have a partner that's also uh, prioritized in it. Well, I I don't want to gloat, but I'm a pretty good singer, and I'm a pretty good dancer. You could say I could would you, shake it up a little. Question, would you say you have the best of both worlds? <laughs> no. Mm, okay. I said I can shake it up. You can shake it up. But you might be a little too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely too old for that. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Contestant number two. We're gonna yes. run back to you. Now, I'm gonna be honest. You so far seem to be my favorite. However, I need oh, when, I, when I date a man, I need to know that I'm his priority, and I need to make sure there's not any. How do, I, how do I say this nice? Another thing. Any arch villains in your life? I mean, I do have a nemesis. Uh huh. And, you know, we see each other on a more or less daily basis. Right. So. Can, can, I, just, can I just cut you off right there, Dr. Doofenshmirtz? <laughs> Fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I see how this. No, it's, you seem like a really great guy. You're, like, you're really talented and everything. You have a corporation. That, that's going to get you some bonus points. Because as we mentioned, I'm a narcissist. I'm just going to dismantle this lovinator right now. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. It's, 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 self destruct button. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, we're just going to roll over to contestant number three again. So, you... You can shake it off, correct? Or shake it up? <laughs> shake it up. Shake it up. In an upwards direction. <laughs> 
Great. <laughs> it was a show on Disney Channel. Uh huh. I was that I definitely was. Bella Thorne, but. Uh huh. That's a person I'm aware of. <laughs> I think you don't have to worry about her early. You gotta think now. Which, you know, movie star time. No, okay, so who she is now? Yeah. Okay. Movie star time. Right. So like now that she's famous, mm -hmm. I I should logically know who this person is, right? You should, you should more focus on that. Okay. Uh, Did you see the last Spider-Man movie? The, the, uh, yes, I did. I did see the last Spider-Man movie. That's actually, uh, uh, okay. So you, um, you were in Spider-Man. What, uh, did you get Tom Holland's autograph by any chance? Are you able to share that? I'm Tom Holland's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, you're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have definitely seen her face. I can see your face, I mean. No, there's a wall right I mean, I was speaking physically, metaphorically. I'm feeling very uh, zen. Uh, <laughs> zen. It's not Zenyatta. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely don't. That's not it, right? Day oh, is it again, by the way? Yeah. I'm glad it could be so zen in the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number three, I, I have to ask. Can I please get your autograph, Miss Zendaya? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, it's, okay, so, listen, we're just gonna go down the line real quick. No, I definitely can't. She's way out of my league. We're just gonna start right there. We're gonna loop back to contestant number one. Contestant number one, I am sure that your lizard skin is very beautiful, and someday you will find someone that can appreciate you for the Apex Predator chat that you are. However, I have to follow the money and go with Dr. Doofenshmirtz, because, let's be honest here, I need a man that can take care of me. <laughs> Let's see.